Bradley Chubb is on the move. This is a defensive line that just got a ton better with Bradley Chubb. Down he goes and sat down the play by Bradley Chubb. A tremendous job by Chubb. Just like that. If you're a sports fan, you've certainly heard the term trust the process. Bradley Chubb's midseason arrival to the Dolphins last November gave the Dolphins defense a jolt, and while it wasn't evident through sack numbers, Miami's pressure rate correlated with the arrival of B. Chubb in South Florida. Leap forward one year and the process is paying off not just in pressures and impact, but the sack total as well. It's not that Chubb is suddenly a different player. He was always a high motor, high effort, multifaceted player who impacts the run and pass game while also setting up his teammates to make plays of their own. In fact, last year, Chubb was top 10 in ESPN's pass rush win rate metric among edge rushers and in QB pressures occurring in less than 2.5 seconds. More importantly, he grades highly in all the Dolphins in-house metrics as well. When Bradley came on, you know, our analytics we just ran a study for us and we moved into like the top 10 of a top eight of a, like six of our like 12 metrics we really the value for defense um, just his impact coming in now a year into his Dolphins tenure and a little better injury luck in the back end and coverage portion of the defensive equation Chubb is still helping his friends make plays but now you can't look at the NFL leaderboard for pass rushers without seeing number two of the Miami Dolphins near the top in just about all of those categories and best of all he gets to the quarterback with various routes speed around the perimeter power inside rushing the tackle or the guard either way you splice it chubb finds a way to win and this isn't some rush exclusive player the dolphins allow just 3.3 yards per carry when teams run the football off tackle that's third best in the nfl thanks in large part to the work of bradley chubb off the edge there's Breda on the handoff from jones and he has stopped short Let's go to the tape, back to this week five game against the New York Giants. And one thing that always stands out about Bradley Chubb is his knowledge of the system and just an understanding of what he can get away with in terms of playing the scheme and the structure of the defense, but also taking chances outside of the scheme. Obviously, this is a player who played with Vic Fangio when he was in Denver and now is in the same system again a few years later here in Miami. And pre-snap, you're gonna watch Bradley Chubb. Here's the motion from the quarterback. He's signaling to bring a player from that part of the formation. Whatever Bradley Chubb sees right here, it entices him to sneak down one gap and wind up coming into the C gap right here between the tackle and the tight end of the New York Giants. And what he does then is he knows he has Eli Apple coming off the edge as the force defender to set this edge, which gives him the opportunity to jump inside and make this play. And the best part about this clip, I think, is how Chubb initiates the contact with the Giants left tackle. If you play passive in this game, you're gonna get ran over. He initiates the contact and goes and gets number 75. And just watch this impact immediately upon when he strikes 75 with that punch. He's making the progress back this way. He's not getting worked back down the field. That allows him to control the rep, use his hands, shed the block, get inside that B gap, and help make a play for a run stuff on this impressive Dolphins run defense. So knowledge of the offense's plan pre-snap, understanding his role within the scheme, jumping down a gap, playing with physicality, getting off a block, and go finish the play. That's elite run defense, and a big reason why the Dolphins rank currently top three in off-tackle run defense. Play action from Jones, steps up in the pocket, set again, Bradley Chubb. All right, now the play you've all been waiting for, pass rush production. Bradley Chubb getting a sack here on Patriots quarterback, Mac Jones. But once again, not really looking at the physical blow by you traits, more of him understanding the system and what he can do within the scheme to not just help himself get production, but his teammates as well. So on this clip, the strong side of the formation is on Bradley Chubb's side. There's the tight end, no tight end on this side. So obviously the strength of the formation to where Chubb is lined up. The Dolphins off of this look with a slot receiver here in a tight condensed split are gonna blitz Cater Kohu. And what this does is gonna confuse the Patriots pass protection because Chubb needs to find a way to win inside to pull this tight end away from a potential blitz pickup right here on Cater Kohu. So a lot of activity going on there. And what that then does, because of Cater Kohu's run to the backfield, you see the running back right here, Ramondre Stevenson, has to step up and pass protection and go pick up Cater. So what does that mean? 
it means now we have one-on-one -on -one opportunities for Zach Sealer and eventually Christian Wilkins off the outside. And they wind up getting run past the quarterback and it's a coverage sack really for the Miami Dolphins and Bradley Chubb. But because of what Chubb does right here, it creates all these moving parts that puts the Patriots' pass protection plan in peril. That's a lot of alliteration right there. So Bradley Chubb's gonna jump inside this gap right here and just continue to work. So we talked about the effort earlier in this clip or in this breakdown. His effort is nonstop. And a lot of guys right here, maybe they see this, this double team block from the left tackle and the tight end and say, okay, not my play. Maybe somebody else will get this play. Not Bradley Chubb. He's working, continuing to work through that double team, splits it and gets the sack. Let's go ahead and go back to the front of the clip here once again and just show you how his understanding of jumping certain gaps to create lanes for other players on the defense really helps this defense thrive and is the reason why last year and into this year, the Dolphins, since his arrival, are top in the NFL, one of the top three teams in quarterback pressures, quarterback hits, all the stuff that impacts quarterback play in terms of the passing game. So jump inside that gap, frees up Cater for the run, running back comes and picks up Cater, gives both Sealer and Wilkins one-on-one -on -one runs, and then even though he's the guy that gets double teamed, he splits the double team and gets Mac Jones to the ground for a big sack. On any successful football play, you'll typically find 11 parts executing an individual task that generates a holistic success. A selfless approach makes for better team football. In a league of small sample sizes, Chubb has remained vigilant to his craft. He works as hard as anybody on a down-to-down -down basis, and his commitment to his rules and process is really paying off in pass rush production. Chubb led the team through 10 weeks with six sacks and 31 QB pressures. He's a key cog for a unit that's hitting its stride mid-season, ranking top five in most major pass rush metrics. The best way to ensure results is a strong process. It was always a matter of time before Bradley Chubb put his stamp on the Miami Dolphins defense, and that process is really paying off.